Hello, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to Spooky Time. I'm looking forward to today's video because I'm shook that I've never even thought to do this before, um, especially with my hair like this, because today we're doing, I'm going to call it Lily Monster inspired makeup and not Lily Monster's makeup because the show was in black and white, right? But when I find in color pictures of her, sometimes her skin is sort of bluish, sometimes it's sort of greenish, and sometimes she's just pale like me. So what we're going to do today is we're going to leave my skin color the way it is. Um, because honestly, I don't know that her skin being bluish or greenish-ish is super relevant to her. I also don't have a costume, but I do have a shirt with her on it, and that's all that matters. Um, and she wears like a really cute like bat necklace, and I don't have that, but I do have bat studs, so I put those in. Um, so what we're gonna do is makeup inspired by Queen Miss Lily Munster. Now, I actually haven't seen the Munsters. I think it only ran for like, what, two seasons, and it was like, like I said, black and white, so back in like the 60s or something, I think. Um, but honestly, like, one of my only regrets in this life is one time I was at Walmart, and it was there, it was on sale, and I didn't buy it. <laughs> and I've never seen the full box set in person since. Like, why didn't I just buy it? I had it in my hand, I was thinking about it, and then I didn't buy it. But, to my knowledge, the show was, like... Much like the Addams Family, in the sense that, like, they're the spooky version of the sort of all-American family, right? Although, something I always loved about the Addams Family in general is that, while they're supposed to be, like, sort of the antithesis in a lot of ways to that sort of standard American family, like, the difference to me was always that the Addamses openly love each other. Like, they're a family, whereas the sort of family trope on TV is that, like, the husband hates the wife, blah, 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 like that sort of thing. And you don't really get that with the Adamses. And I can imagine you don't really get it with the Munsters either. I love when I just start recording, like, just start recording, and my camera says it's dying. So, Lily's got weird eyebrows. They, like, curve, it's like normal here, and then they, it's interesting because in some pictures I find they do just are, sh they do just are shaped, mm-hmm, they are just shaped like normal eyebrows, but in some of them they start to go down, and then they kick up, and I think that sounds like more fun, don't you think? So we're gonna put on some shape tape, so we're just gonna kind of put concealer on like I usually would, I feel like Lily is probably like a big power girl, like a big freaking white flashback AF power person. So I grabbed the She Glam Baked Glow Setting Powder because it's the only one that I have that's like white. The rest of them are all pink or purple. I thought she would like this one the best. But where did my booty blender roll away to? Oh, it's just on the floor. We're good. It did not pass me on the evolutionary scale. It did not grow legs and walk away. Oh my gosh, look at this cat hair. You guys weren't gonna tell me I just had a straight up clump of Lena on me? I haven't actually seen the monsters, like I said, but I do think Lily's glam is fab. But what I will say is that as much as I think she's really cool and I really like her, I don't know that a Lily costume, like out in the world, works as well without uh, Herman. Much like Morticia, I just don't think it has the same vibe. I hate to say that because you know me, I never ever want to need a dude for a costume. And I think, I think maybe Lily might work better than Morticia because for Morticia's costume you're just dressed like a normal, like, how I dress, pretty much. I don't know. I thought about buying the Lily Monster costume because they do have one at uh, like the HalloweenCostumes.ca website, but I eventually talked myself out of it, and I don't know that I'm completely sold on me talking myself out of it yet or not, in case you couldn't tell. Okay. 
I will say, though, even though I haven't seen the original show, I did watch the Rob Zombie Monsters movie. And I really hate to say this because I feel like a hater, but I typically love stuff that Rob Zombie does, both movie and musically. Um, I really do. Um, I really like his Halloween movies, I'll be honest with you. A lot of people don't like his adaptation of Halloween, but I thought he did a really good job. And I really liked... I don't know, it tied up a lot of loose ends. There's a lot of loose ends in the original 70s movie, and I think that's why they keep doing, like, new sequels and new things, because it's like, there's so many possible ways to explore, like, a new ending and a new... All of that. But I always liked how he sort of figured that out. But anyway, back to the thing I was actually talking about. Um, I don't love his Monsters movie. It felt like he was trying to put the whole, a whole season of the TV show into a movie, and I just think that's too much for one movie. If he wanted a TV show, he should have just petitioned to get a TV show, and I think by doing a movie, not to say that I think a movie should focus on one single thing, but I, I just don't think it should be as all over the place as his was. I think the problem with my eyebrows is that they don't go up enough, right? I think I need something darker. She's got cartoonier eyelash eyelashes. I am struggling today. This mirror, I don't think you can see it. I don't think it's showing up in camera, but it, like, it doesn't have any sturdiness to it anymore. It just keeps, like, rotating itself. I guess I only have this liquid liner, which we're going to use for my actual makeup look later, so... doesn't look that bad. What do you think? And then, am I going to try? Yeah, we are. You know what's so funny to me at the start of this? Like, Halloween season, I guess. I actually did have the thought to just, because there's so many looks this year that I have to, like, block out my eyebrows for. I was thinking of just shaving them off. I was like, Jenna Marbles did it. I can do it. But the truth is, I lost my nerve. Now, when I look up pictures of Lily Munster, she's got pretty much just blue, greenish, teal from her lash line to her brow bone pretty much in just like a big like that I don't know that I have it in me to do it that intense right off the bat we might end up there but we're gonna try to do this sort of proper Abby makeup style I'm gonna do like the white base and then sort of feather that out a little bit and then we're going to go into the Norvina palette, and we're going to fluff, and then pat. Do I have a pat brush? Yes, I do. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to try to do this. Is that the one I want? I grabbed the Huda palette, too. I think this one looks a little more accurate to the color that she wears. You know, keep in mind, because this was, well, A, because it was black and white TV, but also because it was, like, not 4K Ultra HD. Like, they did make up much more intense back then, to the extent that, like, it might have looked kind of stupid in person, but it looked great on camera. I know uh, from when I was in school, like, news anchor makeup used to be, like, clown makeup, pretty much. Like, you would see the person in person and think they looked so stupid, but on camera it translates differently, right? So, I don't know, like, maybe you've seen the pictures of the Addams Family, like from the TV show, um, their house, because it was all pink, it wasn't black and white, because the, the pinks translated to like a nice gray on, on the black and white TVs. That's kind of what I'm talking about. 
I think it's cute. This is just like a casual, everyday makeup look, you know? It's so weird to me how these jumbo eye pencils like, used to be, like, way back, way back in the day on the, on the makeup YouTube, they were like, every single person was using them. And now, like, nobody but me uses them anymore. But instead, what the people are using are, like, really expensive eye, eyeshadow bases. And I just don't understand. Like, why? These are right there. Part of the reason we're shooting this video by today, by the way, is because my front pieces of my hair, all the purple has like faded out and it's left like it like white, 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 um, which happens for a very short period of time. The next time I wash it, I'm sure some of the white will fade out and it'll start to look yellow again. So this was like a, I gotta do this right now situation. Don't worry, we're coming back to that. Um, but we gotta put on a little bit of eyeliner for our lashes. So I'm just gonna take my normal, hmm, you know what, maybe we'll use the, the flower one. Ugh, okay. And we're just gonna, maybe we'll wing it a little bit. Just following the eyeshadow. We're just gonna put on a little bit of mascara so that when I put my lashes on, they like, will blend with my lashes, you know. I stab myself in the left eye. Every single time I put mascara on. Every single time. What's that about? Lily doesn't really struck, strike me as a blush bronzer kind of girl, but she does strike me as a contour girl. So what we're gonna do in an attempt, albeit feeble, to really carve out my face is do one of these. Was it AJ from the Backstreet Boys who always had like a beard in this shape? Who am I thinking of? And then you want to blend it out so that no one's going to look at you and see the AJ beard, but so that the shadow is still there a little bit. See? Now, I obviously have a much larger schnoz, but I can't do the contour stuff that a lot of the TikTok girls do because of how big my nose is. Like, I see them go from having a normal nose to like, this tiny little nothing of a nose on TikTok all the time. And I just want you guys to know that like, that is physically impossible for me because my nose is so big and crooked. And I'm not saying that because I want you to be like, oh, poor Abby, I don't really care. I have another zit coming in right there God, I've had so many zits right in that spot over the last couple months. Anyway, what I was saying was, I don't particularly care that my nose is big and crooked. It just is what it is. But in case you're ever like, Abby can't nose contour, blah, blah, blah. One, you are a low-key right. I do suck at it. Two, my nose is just weird. And then for the rest of the nose, we're going to use the Beauty Blender. And then we're going to take some of that powder.
Okay, wait till you see the lashes I grabbed for today. Look at these. Aren't these intense? I don't even know where I got them from. Kiss, lash, couture, foaming, like me, only better. So if you're new here, hi. Um, I have a very particular way of putting on my eyelashes, and that is, we open my phone, and after I put the glue on, we start a timer for like 50 seconds, and then we put the lashes on. Because I'm telling you, like, other people, I don't know how they put the lashes on right away, because for me, it needs that, like, 50 seconds to, I want to say cure, but I don't know that that's the right word. And now we start the timer. I'm pale on a good day, but I look extra pale today. I don't know what's up. 45 seconds since the timer started. And then I like to hold my mirror an inch and a half away from my face. Boom! Look at those massive freaking lashes. Okay. Lily, she just, she's too fabulous not to have big lashes, you know? I also have to say that in the Rob Zombie version of the monsters, I did not like Lily monster slash Sherry Moon Zombies makeup. I don't know who did it. And her wig was like not good either. It was like worse than a spear Halloween wig. I don't even know, man. It was so weird to me too because the set design was there. Like all of it looked nice and Herman's makeup was so much more involved than hers is. You just have to make her look like a hot goth girl. <laughs> and I don't know, like they really dropped the ball on them. I probably should have turned these. So, my question to you, do we think Lily would wear highlighter or not? I'm going to go with yes, and the reason I'm going with yes she would is because I have, I still have this Old AF Naked Cosmetics palette, and it has a blue highlighter in it. So that's sort of how we're going to pull the blue, ooh there's a green too, that's how we're going to pull the blue and the green into my skin. We'll do a blue and a green and a blue and a green like that. Because this way, and then for the last bit for the eyes, the picture that I have of Lily that's open behind you, it, uh, she's got like some cool stuff happening underneath. So we're gonna do that a little bit. We're gonna refine the flower. So we're gonna go under my eyes with the, this jumbo pencil. And then it looks like they did that, and then they went... I'm trying to open the wrong end! You know, like one of those? With the black line underneath, and then sort of parallel to the wing? Now this side is going to run like mad, because my eye is watering for when I stabbed it with the mascara. And then just for good measure, we're gonna take a pencil brush, like this one, and we're gonna take that shade that I have all over my eyelids. And just take it along this black line. 
I should have done maybe the black line with a gel or something so that it could like smudge a little bit. Now, if one thing is clear to me, it's that Lily Monster wears red lipstick. But I find it, I found a bunch of different sorts of looks with different sorts of shades. Now, I've sort of had my options taken away from me because I had to throw out a bunch of my lipsticks because they were very old. So what we're gonna do is take this Bite Beauty R.I.P. lip liner and then feather it in a little bit. Take. Hold on. And then we're going to take the Queen, Miss Ruby Woo. Do we think Lily Munster would approve of this? Mm, I'm not sold on the black lip liner. Now that it's done, it blended together really nicely because Ruby Woo is a, a retro matte retro matte it has like a lot of pull to it so i knew they would blend together but i don't know about it for lily monster but imagine i had the outfit okay and the wings maybe this is actually cute i'm liking the whole little under eye situation maybe i should do that more often in my like every day and at first when i did flick my eyebrows out i thought it would look stupid with my real eyebrows not blocked out but honestly i don't know that it's that visible so anyway, this is my completed Lily Monster inspired makeup. I would love to hear what you think, what you would change, what you would do differently. Um, again, I'm sorry I don't have a full costume, but this look has kind of inspired me a little bit to like maybe get the full costume. But I just like my hair was so perfect for it to begin with that like I couldn't not do Lily Monster. I think it's cute. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I like it. Every time I think I'm not like a crazy everyday makeup girl anymore, I like look at this makeup and then I'm like, yeah, I could wear that out. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a th- Oh, I forgot. Let's see today's Halloween trivia from this little card thing I bought at Spirit Halloween. Blah, 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 blah. I suck at shuffling cards. You would think someone who's been doing like playing with tarot cards since she was a kid would be really good at shuffling cards, but I'm not. I suck at it. So, let's see what today's is. Ready? What is the fear of Halloween also known as? Is it A, scully, scullyonophobia, scullyonophobia, B, selenophobia, C, scoptophobia, or D, selenophobia? The answer is obviously D, Samhainophobia. Now, if you read this uh, and you don't know, it's like Samhain is how it's spelt, but it's pronounced Samhain. So it looks like it says Samhainophobia. If you've ever seen like the classic Halloween tradition, it's called Samhain, like this sort of pagan event, but it's pronounced Samhain. Anyway, that's the real end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this Lily Monster makeup look. I love you a lot. I think you're great. <laughs> uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. Give this video a thumbs up. We're going to have so much content this October, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Hold on. Let's just take a moment at the end of the video here because I want to show you this look in black and white because I went to take a selfie on my phone because I like to sort of keep documents of the things that I've shot, um, and it looked ridiculous, but then when I flipped it in black and white, it looked much better. So the, I just wanted the, there to be evidence at the end of the video for you here of it being black and white, just to kind of, I did make the point earlier about the Adams Family House being pink, like that, right? So yeah, anyway, I'm done for real this time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>